I'm at Broadband World Forum in Amsterdam, and I'm joined by Marcia Avidelis from Kuja. Marcia, thanks for joining me. Um, Thank you. Maybe you could just start, just tell us a little bit about Kuja and what, what yeah. exactly it is that you do. Yeah, certainly. Kuja AI, so AI is part of the name. Yeah. We're an AI company that's focused on manifesting AI technology through a set of services that allow carriers to offer a suite of uh, protections for their digital customers. So um, we bring the AI technology into the carrier network and, and it enables a suite of services that allows to protect uh, security, uh, allows people to, to manage uh, access, uh, parental controls, and also privacy. So okay. that's what we're working with carriers on and we're focused on the carrier industry and that's who we work with. What are you doing this year? What, what's this in the Yeah, so, so it's interesting. Thank you for the question. Um, uh, what we did this year is we've been out talking to customers and we were one of the first companies to actually have a really scaled AI service. So, you know, we're working with uh, we're worth working with customers like Comcast. We're uh, in close to 20 million homes, so we've got probably the most scaled technology on the planet for this kind of service. And what we realize when we go talk to other carriers, um, you know, you just can't take for granted that they see things the same way that some of your early customers did. Yeah. So when we start talking about security services, as we talk about IoT devices, we realize that customers don't even understand what they have on their network. So what we've launched, and we're launching uh, earlier this week, is a service called Lens. And what it is, is, is a data analytics platform that allows you to take advantage of the Cujo uh, platform. Uh, you can install it in your network, and it's license-free, and you can start getting aggregated information about what are the devices connected to the homes, uh, what kind of security events are happening in the home, what kind of privacy risks are we seeing, so uh, that when you go have a conversation with a carrier about the importance of a security service or a privacy service, one of the first questions they have is, well, do my customers really suffer from those problems? Yeah. Well, Lens is a way to give them a little bit of a window into what's actually going on in their network so that they can understand what's happening before they make decisions around how far they want to go and the timing of when they want to launch those kinds of services. And this is now this is now becoming available commercially? It's, yes, it's available commercially. Um, we, we are, we've launched it. Um, the license is a no-cost license and we've been working with uh, OEMs to integrate our uh, the firmware that's required into the router middleware. So we're working with Technicolor, we're working with Sagemcom, we're working with AirTies, and the routers that, that uh, the firmwares that they use were pre-integrated in. So the idea for it is to make it really, really easier for a carrier to kind of deploy this, even on a sampling basis. To you know, uh, you know, to start, we'll support even if you know a few hundred at no cost. And if if you want to do a bigger sampling and you want to do a wider deployment in the network will have to uh, create a dedicated cloud and dedicated to you to support you. But the idea is you can start collecting and understanding some of this stuff about your, this data about your network very, very quickly. So it's not a big, long implementation time. And, and with that visibility, hopefully, um, you know, you have an opportunity to, uh, by understanding some of these things that typically uh, you don't get access to because all of these devices are on the other side of the NAC, yeah. uh, you can start understanding what makes sense for you as a carrier in terms of avenues to add value for your customers? Okay. Based on what's actually happening. I mean, I mean, with regards to that, maybe what are the sort of main use cases that you see? Well, so like so there's a few. To start with, uh, device identification and and so we, one of the basic services we offer is device device identification yes. and OS classification. So we've got two classifiers: one that looks at all the devices connected to the network and identifies the model, the type, and the actual um, manufacturer. So, hey, it's an Apple device. Well, oh, it's a phone. Oh, it's an iPhone 6S Plus. Uh, and we have an OS classifier that looks at what version of operating system. So, let's say, uh, you know, OS, uh, iOS version 13.2 is what I think most, the newest one. Yep. Um, but So, one of the use cases, for example, um, that's, that's common, and, and this is something we've uh, we've developed with working through some of our partners like AirTies on Wi-Fi, um, is that there are certain versions of iOS that do airtime management differently. And you know, if you're, say, a product manager at a carrier, and you read that, hey, there's an issue with a version of iOS that, because of the way it manages airtime, could create, under certain circumstances, problems with your for your customer, which impact every, all the devices connected to the network. So, you know, because it's not behaving the way it's expected, it could create a situation where everybody, all the other devices in the home, could suffer, have, have a connectivity issue. Yeah. And then you ask yourself, well, is that a problem? How big a problem is that for me? So, 
with the service like Lens, you can actually look into the data and say, okay, how many iOS devices are in the home? Look at the distribution of iOS versions and understand uh, that yes, there is probably a decent amount of iOS 12.4 still in the home. Yeah. And then make a determination of whether you want to do something about uh, addressing the situation with your customers because the solution is typically, you know, upgrade to a new version of iOS, the next version of iOS, solve the problem. Uh, and the benefit really is avoiding a, a, a bad situation for the customers or improving satisfaction, but also a little bit of a selfish one, which is if problems don't happen, they, you don't have to support the customer and yep. help them solve the problem, which... It's much cheaper. Like exactly, possible. absolutely. Yeah. So th that's one example of yeah. how you could use the, uh, the data analytics platform that yeah. we're making available to bring real world results in a fairly immediate fashion. And, and sounds crucial at the moment, I guess, with so many more devices coming to the market. Oh, so absolutely. complexity in that area. Yeah. yeah. A lot of the use cases we're talking to carriers about have to do with um, taking this knowledge and this context. And if you think about knowing what's connected in the home, it's super valuable context. And if you bring it into uh, the organization and you make it available to up, you know, support systems, um, it puts you in a position to create new surface area for these kinds of positive interactions with customers. So yeah. this is a case where you can proactively understand that there might be a problem and do something with the, for the customer before they actually notice and have the problem and call you about it. So, yeah. you know, and that's not an interaction that was available before without that kind of knowledge. So, um, you know, that's what we're trying to do with Lens is make it easy for carriers to start getting that information so that they can explore other, you know, how to expand that surface area to have those positive interactions. And, and for the carriers themselves, I mean, one concern that we hear talked about here, and it comes up in a lot of industry conferences, is integrating sort of new technologies into mm -hmm. the mix when they're then trying to support legacy as well. So how does how does this technology kind of fit into the blend? How does it blend in, I guess? Yeah, certainly, certainly. So the, the for us, there's two components. There, um, there's an agent that goes on the router, uh, and then there's a cloud platform. So let me start with the cloud platform. We actually dedicate a cloud platform to each one of our customers. And the reason for that is because the data that's being collected actually belongs to the carrier. So we actually stand it up inside their their public, uh, their public, private instance of a public cloud, so in the case of AWS typically, so that the data stays logically inside the network. So that's not a very hard thing to do. We can help get a cloud stood up. You know, We operate it and manage it on their behalf, but all the data belongs to them. And then this is where we've been working with the OEMs to uh, ensure that our middle, uh, our firmware is integrated as part of the middleware. So uh, if you if you work with Swan uh, and Sagemcom, we have an integration. If you work with RDKB, regardless of uh, who, who the OEM is that's supporting RDKB, we've got an integration there. With Technicolor, we're on homeware. So And we, we support a whole bunch of the SOCs as well. So uh, Broadcom, Intel, Qualcomm. So we've done a lot of that pre-work so that if a carrier is interested in doing something, obviously you'd still have to test on your specific hardware platform yeah. and your specific combination of hardware and middleware, but we've done a lot of work to shorten that time, so it's really a testing and a validation exercise, not a whole integration exercise that needs to happen. Okay. Well, um, good, luck with the, good luck with the new product, and uh, I Thank hope you. you enjoy the rest of the show, and thanks for joining me. Yeah, guys. it's a pleasure speaking with you. All right.